We all know it, but we don't like to think about it. All the grinding engine noise and the stink of exhaust fumes where there used to be silence. All the heavy metals and chemical toxins leaching into clean crystal water. Poisoning all the millions of animals, birds, fish and people who live in it and have to drink it. We all know that thousands of square miles of virgin forest and its inhabitants who have lived there for millennia are being torn up and killed by the huge digging machines every day, 24-7. We know that all the topsoil is destroyed, making regeneration impossible. We know that the CO2 emissions from the tar sands make Canadians amongst the most polluting people in the world. We know that by dumping greenhouse gases into the Arctic atmosphere, we are unbalancing one of the most crucial and fragile climate systems on Earth, with potentially catastrophic consequences for the whole planet. We know that as the dead forests rot, we are turning a massive carbon sink into a huge new source of greenhouse gases. All this we know, but we don't like to think about it. What most people don't know is that in addition to being short-sighted, cruel, suicidal, insane, greedy, and all the rest, what is being done in the tar sands could be illegal under Section 46 of the Criminal Code of Canada. High Treason and the law against high treason could empower all patriotic Canadians to stop the ecocide through the courts. What greater duty can there be for Canadians than protect their land and by example show the world how it can be done? Stand on guard. The opportunity is now.